My name's Rob Wassel and I've always had an interest in lighthouses and the engineering challenges to not only build them but also maintain them. I've been involved with the Beltoot Lighthouse since 2007 and I've written a book, The Story of the Beltoot Lighthouse. This area of the coast, Beachy Head, has always been a danger to shipping um, due to the shallow waters and sharp rocks and for centuries there were calls for a lighthouse to be positioned here at the clifftop. Then in 1828 Trinity House built a test lighthouse in the position of the Beltoot which was so successful that they began construction on the Beltoot Lighthouse in 1832 and it came into operation on the 11th of October 1834 and it saved countless sailors' lives. However, it had two distinct problems. Firstly, sea fog would collect at the top of the clifftop and the sailors couldn't see the lights anymore. And over the course of the years, the effectiveness of the Bell Toots light was reduced, but also, more importantly, coastal erosion. The cliffs here are eroding at a rate of 60 centimetres a year so Trinity House knew they needed to do something about this and they embarked on the engineering challenge of building the new lighthouse at the base of the Beachy Head Cliffs. That also represented its own technical challenges due to the inaccessibility of the position and they came up with a very clever engineering feat of um, building a ropeway system to the lighthouse which used to ferry not only materials but also people and workers every single day. The Beachhead Lighthouse came into operation in 1902 and the Bell Toot was decommissioned. It became a tea room, a family home and it was part destroyed during the Second World War by Canadian gunnery practice. Then in the 1950s the Cullinan family thought it would be an amazing family home and they set about with their own bare hands renovating the lighthouse. It changed hands a number of times and then in the 1990s was bought by the Roberts family who fell in love with its wonderful location. In the 1990s, the Roberts family decided that this would make a, a wonderful place to live and always knew that they would need to do something about its close proximity to the cliff edge. So they hired Abbey Pinford, an experienced engineering company who had moved previous buildings. They set about the engineering challenge to move the, the lighthouse back. In 1999, when the family were asleep, they were awoken by a noise like thunder and they evacuated the lighthouse and it wasn't until they returned the next day they realised there'd been a massive cliff fall. So Abbey Pinford increased the priority of the project, brought everything forward and worked for three months pre preparing and planning to move the lighthouse. This represented significant engineering challenges as they needed to move this 850 tonne lighthouse 17 metres back from the eroding cliff edge. They needed to be able to lift the lighthouse, so they excavated underneath the building and built concrete runners, which would be greased to allow the lighthouse to move back. They also then installed computer-controlled jacks. Each one had to be independently operated very accurately, otherwise it could cause twisting of the building and cracking. So there are many engineering challenges that needed to be taken into consideration. And another problem they faced is they could inadvertently cause their own cliff fall. You can still see the original foundations from where the lighthouse was moved from. It took three days, but finally the lighthouse came to rest in its current position. It was so successful that even plates and crockery and glasses in the cupboards in the kitchen were unbroken and unmoved. The moving of the lighthouse gained media attention worldwide and it was covered by the news, even BBC's Tomorrow's World as the project happened. And, and we had reports every day about how the move was going, um, how the preparations were going. And it was such an incredible engineering challenge that it really gathered people's interest worldwide. The lighthouse is currently a bed and breakfast and anyone can come and stay here to find out more about its history and marvel at the amazing views. As a writer, what really interested me in these projects was that I had to go into a lot, a lot of detail to understand exactly how Abbey Pinford dug down underneath the lighthouse, exactly how all the computer controlled jacks worked, exactly how the challenges presented themselves. The Beltit Lighthouse will need moving again in, in the future and it's incredible to think that one of the engineers watching this programme right now could be involved in that move.